We we'll ask all of our councillors to work with us to identify projects that must be community-based. And from next year, we will start implementing and executing all of those projects. And that's why I will need to commend all of the officers of the Ministry of Local Government and Community Development for this occasion today. I want to congratulate the would-be winners of the various interventions today and I want to encourage others that come next year, it could be your own turn. That was 12 months ago. With his determination, zeal and love for community development, Governor Babajide Sonwolu promised thousands of community development association members seated at the venue of the 2019 Community Day celebration to revisit rural community and establish 21st century development. And as promised, Mr. Governor did. In September 2020, Despite the huge capital expense to manage COVID-19 pandemic that ravaged communities across the world, Mr. Governor approved the construction of 377 community projects through the Ministry of Local Government and Community Affairs to add value to life and also to put smiles on the faces of Lagosians. Having witnessed what transpired at the 2019 Community Day celebration, many CDAs didn't rest on their oars. They put their house in order to change their narrative. The primary aim is to get the governor's top prize at the 2020 Community Day celebration. Part of the ways of achieving a greater Lagos through the CDAs is the celebration of Community Day, an annual event where community leaders on the CDA gathered and outstanding ones are handsomely rewarded for their impactful community projects. The year 2020 edition of the Community Day is characterized by beehive of activities as officials from Ministry of Local Government and Community Affairs embarked on CDA tour across the five divisions of the state. Hello, I will down it. From Ikorodu to Badagri, Ikeja to Lagos mainland and Ekbe, this is to enable the team to do a proper on-site assessment of CDAs and their projects across the 20 local governments and 37 local council development areas in the state within the year on the review. I'm going to go to the 20th of the year. I'm going to go to the 20th of the year.
Handle visitation of the assessment team to the five divisions of the state, a number of projects were assessed and scores were recorded. Amongst the CDAs visited were Ajebo Road, Lakbe Gai Lado, Katola, Itesiwaji Odokekere, Butterfly, Orio Kuta, Okeonyibo CDA, Anu Oluwakwa CDA, Oloja CDA, Agbala Gadararomi CDA, Irekwa Odun CDA, Asheyari Community Development, Okeowo Estate CDA, Elekpe Royal Estates, Greenfield Estate CDA, Lidway Efunla Won CDA, Agodogbon Phase 2, Elegoshi CDA, Peace Estate CDA, Oshori Heritage CDA, Ikota Housing Estate, Igoshere CDA, Bashan Community Development Association, Oke Bale CDA, Ifelodu CDA, Lagasa Phase 2 Community Development Association, amongst others. Our project is secondary school. We look at the distance between here and Odongoya Community I mean, Grammar School, which is the closest secondary school in this environment. It's very far, and we call all the, the CDA members. We task ourselves. We bought a, a thousands of a block, and we started immediately. So since then, we have been contributing, calling to the people of the community, all sorts of things, taking things on credit, and so on and so forth, before we could get to this level. Was well, that gatehouse there? After the gatehouse, all these areas were all swamped. They were started that this road project here, we got this Trinity Power. We started the road project, we did the interlocking the stones on the road, and uh, if I might tell you, we are using an 80 mm stones from HFP Engineering. That, so it can stand the test of any pressure. So we did this, we did this when we came in on power. After this, these are dual carriageways. We did it with the same uh, a size of stones, and then we treated the soil with every attendant uh, uh, process required of a road of this standard. And I can assure you, this can take any weight of any time because it's a standard road done by the community on their own without any external funding from anybody. Transformer, we installed this transformer. Yeah, yeah. We installed this, we installed this in, uh, uh, transformer and then energized it all from the community. How many KBA is this? This is 500 KBA. Transformer. How many do you have? How many? We, we have we have brought in almost ten transformers. Ten transformers. Since we came into power. And then all these roads you have the solar lights. They are lighted by the community. We did it. We've been actually individually taking this project as you can see. This area here in near Samuel, we've completed a project of electrification of about 15 poles and, uh, and um, a very big industrial transformer that we've been trying by the grace of God to see how we can go forward for the development of this, of this community. It's a community comprised of about 70 something buildings and houses and uh, which we have been managing from here up to the local government council. And we have road projects on ground now, as you can see, all over here. We've been using individual capability to grade and maintain the community. Um, well, in terms of the self-help project we've done, uh, we've done several self-help projects, starting from, let me start from the infrastructure projects. Uh, this environment, we have uh, several thousands of kilometers of um, piling and filling. We just, we, this environment is watery. The water logged area, swamp area. So we first of all fill the environment, we piled it, and then we now commence the process of actually doing the interlocking. Right now we have interlocked about 10 out of the 11 streets of our estate. 
uh, which we plan to finish the last one uh, by next year. So we've done an extensive interlocking. Apart from the interlocking work that we've done, we've done entire drainage of the environment. We've done all the street has a drainage that empties into the river. Okay, and uh, as they are emptying, we have supported them with a non-return valve so that water does not come back into our estate because by the side of our estate we have water, uh, the river Oshu Ogun, uh, Ogun River, you know, so we empty into that river but then because of the perennial and annual problem of the river uh, coming into the estate, we supported it with a non-return valve for every single drainage, running to about 12 or 15 uh, drainages to the river, we supported them with non-return valve, okay? In, to solve also that same problem, we did an embankment on one side of the entire estate. I will run the perimeter around the whole estate to support our security. Um, of course, to prevent all the issues of kidnapping and theft, uh, we have done that. Uh, talking of, of security, we have built a security house at our night guard stays, the OPC. We also have a, a security house at our security at the gate stays, uh, so that they can ensure that uh, there's no problem at the gate. Of course, we have all these security appurten appurtenances uh, and their materials and their, the tools that they need to do their work. So we've also invested in that to secure the environment. Uh, there is an entire electrification of the environment. We bought the, the two big transformers, the 500 kV transformer of the environment. We bought them ourselves. Uh, we have all the electrification, all the street lighting, we have them. And the recent challenge of water in the estate, we have been able to overcome that by creating our O'Hara mini water project, which about 60,000 liters of, water, of ground tank, uh, two booster pumps, and uh, we have about five boats to support that particular project. We run pipes around the entire estate to support every street and every house that is connected to every individual houses. You know, we have uh, that sorted out uh, just recently that we just launched about one week ago. We have been back upon the, uh, the rings. We have done the piling. And yet, we need to fill this place as you are seeing it. You can see our rings as it starts, it's set, it was set there. And that rings, you can see the height. So that is the essence we are going to fill this place. What we need government intervention for now is to complete this project for us. And we are pleading to our people that please, as they are, they are happy seeing the project we are doing at hand. They are very, very happy. But, that is just on that. But what we still needed now, we needed government intervention. We are, we are doing, you can see this light now you are seeing. We brought this trans, we brought transformer and we brought this electricity here down to this community. It's by our self-help. We did transformer, we did this, we did uh, during the canal now, we channeled the uh, canals. Our project here I see our uh, transformer at the uh, pole, 69 pole, uh, cable. We have a community our installation our everything. It was not only we need to hire caterpillar. That is big big communities, big community our lagbe all the quarters. No, no, not grading, just drainage. No, no, firstly all drainage, big big lagbe. Yes, our community has been able to subsidize the cover to the So, our block has subsidized So, almost 90% complete drainage. Now, at the last cement, a subsidized from one. Now, I was a covert lane metal. Then, but as you know, I need the covert to buy other jet 13 places. The community wa. as of today, we got 13 lot complete. It will lay in this. You can make it a mark basically at your out to one community. We go with our materials. You are one man. You relate to one man. I require me for one man at the cover. I'm a fair. I told one man, yeah, make your at the cover. Yeah, this development we are seeing some. It's under one contabilis. So what is she? What is she? Upgrading. What is she? Street lights. This in this January, ten days like she grade the book. What is she? Jadi, we go to Russian. That be the Ibaga Central Junction. See the one in Kolashi. I want to Kolashi project. Let's go to Kolashi. 
This project is almost two kilometers. That is the installation of high tension wire. Wire they come about two drums of wire. Post. I have to see the road. I have to see the But I she turns in January and February. I have to commission it. We have some time in March. So we are going to be a new center. I don't know if you want to see the room. I don't know if you want to see the room. I feel built the inside center. I want to be more than the loss. I want to be a new room. 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 All the streets. Before these days, will it be all the streets? We we'll get within the piece of state, ranging from road, drainage, uh, from, along with it, carpet construction and electricity. These are the major projects that we can make to put in place within uh, this estate. Yeah, we also have transformers that we have bought. How many? The that we, have we have two that we bought. And we have We have They can be shown and uh, tend to embark on more. We have more that we have even uh, expended money on that we are still doing the compilation to bring it to the attention of uh, the ministry. Uh, so we have what we call a supplementary list of projects currently being embarked on by the city. And even this first avenue used to be a dump site. We have pictures of the clearing and the drainage that we did to make the road uh, much better. But by the grace of God, uh, we intend to start the internal project. Because we inform the ministry, we inform the local government, they are doing an assessment of it at the This land we are on actually was given to the CDA by the host family, the Lado descendant family of Parafa Alagemon Ikorodu. So, but the hall was built by uh, self help from residents within the community. That is how we built this hall. This community, we actually started this building project, which is the community center for for the growth of the and development of the community. It started since in 2015. Yes, with the help of the host family, the Lado descendant family. They have been so good to us. When we started it, we don't know we can even get to this level. But the, the host family, actually, they have been of help. Even at the stage when we moved to Transformer Project, this community has never owned a Transformer since inception. But during our time, we begin the project and to God be the glory, we have purchased a brand new 500 kVA transformer. Here is one of the projects in which this community undertook. The transformer, the feeder pillar, uh, the LTs and the HTs and the aluminium conductors was solely done by this community. Also, we undertook box coverts, drainage systems, uh, concrete poles, for you're talking about the, uh, the yeah, HT poles. Yeah. HT poles, we bought 22 poles. The LTs, as at the last time we counted, as at the last time we counted, we're talking over 70. Over 70, yes. Over 70. Because it's a work in progress. It's some of, when you go, you see some of the inner streets that have not been properly electrified. Of course, as soon as we are getting our contribution from the members of the community, we, we as well invest in those areas. We found out that when we started the project, it was actually worthwhile. So it was worthwhile and then we decided to you know, move on. And by the grace of God, you can see what we have done so far speaks for itself. You can, by the time, from here to the other end, which is about uh, 300 meters away from here, you understand. So, and uh, we we intend to we intend to do uh, more and more as we can because the road is still having issues. When the rains come now, you find out that we are we get stuck. 
there are gridlocks here and there. So these are the issues on ground. We have a series of projects ongoing. This is one of them we have been able to complete. We have borehole, we have street lights, we have poles and we red lights to the whole community. And each project has its own expedition and peculiar problems that we face. On the community, we have a problem of transformer. We have been able to republish the transformer. And the transformer is working now. Up to nine months, it's working. Most of it is that this street light you are seeing, we have done it. There is bore hole in the streets inside the community. At the high tension pool, we have all of them is 12. High tension pool is 12. The 80 is that one we do not work on because we use, we, we lapse from each place to another. In my community, we have. We have borehole that we are doing. The, part, the capacity of the borehole is each place it has at least three types that is running. And it's functional. It's functional. Well. You can see the the materials are still. We are still yes. We, we have completed two. But the four is functioning. But not to the completion stage. Laying of the electrification projects by the community. We bought the aluminium cables ourselves, the poles and the transformer. And as you the can transformer see, is energized. Yes, and that's, what, that's what they are using here with the meters. And correctly, we did the uh, road, grading of, grading of the road, right from uh, off the mobile road up to this. That's why you can being motoring. Actually, before we can construct this, if the road is not, is, this place is swamp area, you understand? They are also, it's all, if the road is not strong enough, there is no how Tipa can get in here. It was when we opened this place, that's when these people too were like, ah, they have to do this. And this building here encouraged the one beside our building. You understand? So, the the project is just a, is an, an opener to this environment. Last time we invited a lobster like this was around 2015. Then this road was not interlocked as it was as it is now. So we interlocked it. Recently, things from the from the express down to that junction there. So the last time they came, we took them down to Prince Sinclair Street. Prince Sinclair, yeah. So okay, from there again, we started filling. We filled the road down down to the extremes. So if you go down together, we all see it. But and the gutter, yeah, drainage, the, drainage, the, drainage, road, the road and drainage. Yes, the road and, and drainage. drainage. That's what we embarked. Yes. Yeah. Thus far, we embarked on what we call um, a road and drainage project, project plus electrification, street lighting project. And um, thus far, concerning the drainage and the road project, drainage we are at 97% completion. Concerning the road, this is where you are now. You can see um, we have paving stones here, interlocking stones here from here to here. So concerning the um, road project, that is just like maybe 0.1 percent because we you know we just started that. While the visit to the CDAs was ongoing, other activities such as human service. as well as health work, also form part of the activities during of the 2020 Community Day. Second leg, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Let's go. We came to observe the Jumat service in, this, in the state central mosque. We prayed for the ministry and we prayed for the country as a whole. And we have prayed to Almighty Allah to protect this state from reoccurrence of the un uh, unfortunate situation we had during the crisis. Towards the end of uh, the NSAS protest. As part of um, Community Day celebration, we always set aside a day for health work. We, are in, we brought in instructors that are versatile in type of exercise that are for youths and uh, young elders in the community and, uh, and, and uh, in, our, um, in our various community development association and community development advisory council and community development committees who come around to jog and to do exercise, knowing fully well that health is wealth. And we discovered that the majority of our people no longer do exercise. And um, because this is annually, it does something. It, it gingers them, they are working their, their, their body, and where in they do. If you can see, I'm jogging. We have done a lot of jogging this morning. We've done a lot of aerobics and exercise to mark the yeah, 2020 Community Day celebration. Sincerely, we want them to know that health is wealth and that they should not neglect the aspect of exercise, aerobic, and um, street work. They should make it part of them. We want, this is the message we are passing across so that once they do it here, yeah, the tendencies of them following up will, will be there. Despite lots of money spent by each of VCDAs, they are undeterred as they have succeeded in solving varying challenges in their respective communities and their extension, putting smiles on the faces of their people. These are indeed self-help projects.